Pew. Hey guys, Spring and Prey here, and welcome back to another Airsoft video. We are going to be doing an update on the M4 that I got in that Evike mystery box. It's not a, it was not a box of awesomeness. I had some people comment below saying like that they were mad because I was lying saying that it was a box of awesomeness. Well, I'm pretty sure I clarified in the video. However, just to be sure, I got this out of an Evike mystery open box item. That means somebody bought something, they broke it or didn't like it, so they returned the item and then, you know, Evike obviously can't sell it as new, so they have to sell it as an open box item. So this is what I got. It was an open box Elite Force CQB M4. Now, when I first got it, and you can check out the other video when I did first open it, and this whole charging handle was broken. It was all the way pulled out. There was It was not even existent in the box, and there was just a little spring sticking out at you. In addition to that, there was no way to open up the bolt here, so you couldn't really open the hop-up at all. But now, this is all fully functional, because I just gave them a call. They insisted that I send it back to them, and they took care of everything. They reinstalled the charging handle. The other issue was that it wouldn't shoot at all, and now it does. And we can. This is going to be up for sale on eBay. So this is going to serve also as a sort of you know test firing video to show you guys that it actually does indeed work. I have a um, a sheet from the Evike technician guy. He um, verified you know that it's going to actually shoot and stuff like that too. I really like these crane stocks. They're they're great because um, there's just so much battery room for like the 9.6 volts just fit in there so nicely. Also they're great because I think they're really comfortable. And that's more of an opinion thing, but you know, my opinion is the best opinion. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, so the battery is going to go in there. Uh, you, I'm, I'm not going to close it up because I'm just going to have to take it out. Anyways, but this is the battery that it will come with. Uh, it's also going to come with a couple other things, but we'll talk about that after I just show you that it in fact does shoot now. And then full auto is actually, this is a 9.6 volt, you will get this battery, so this is the rate of fire that you can sort of expect with the battery that I'm going to include. It's a pretty nominal rate of fire, it's definitely not super fast, but if you wanted to put a LiPo in here, I'm sure that'd be fine. Um, you probably would want to put a MOSFET though, just because there it is an electronic, or not an electronic trigger, it's a micro switch trigger, which is really nice. I really am fond of those micro switch triggers, um, just because when you do it like I don't know if you guys can hear it but I'll try to let you hear here, I'll get it really close so hopefully you can hear but it actually clicks when you pull the trigger which is really nice because then you like because with the contacts you kind of just pull it and there's like this nether region where you don't know to do, is it gonna pull or not this makes some firing on semi-auto like you can do like just really quick like really quick bursts and you know they're gonna go because it's the uh, you know the micro switch Take care, it takes care of everything. I think to really trick this out, it'd be awesome if you put like um, um, an anti, an active breaking MOSFET in here. That would be awesome. But so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selling it on eBay. It's going to come with everything you see here. So it's going to come with these uh, rail things that I've attached. They're just like rail covers. They're mostly the reason why they're going to be included is because they're sort of hard to take off. But if you really didn't like them, of course you could take them off. I think they're just really comfortable, and when you're grabbing it, especially with the foregrip that comes with it, it's really nice. Just kind of like, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself on the rails as much. And as far as cosmetics, there's absolutely no damage really, except for just a little bit on the rails here from, I'm assuming the previous owner was attaching and detaching this foregrip, which is actually really comfortable. It's a little bit of an odd shape, but I think like once I got used to it, this would be like way better than the, the uh, MOE foregrip that I have. Anyways, so this is how the gun is going to come. It's also going to include this battery that I was testing it out on. It's a 9.6, 1600 milliamp Tenergy battery. It's also going to include both of the high caps that it came with. I think these are 300 rounds. I mean, that's just the standard. It's also going to come with the battery that the gun originally came with. I wouldn't recommend really using this battery too much besides just initial testing and stuff like that. Pretty much um, this is junk, which is why I'm including the upgraded real awesome battery. Plus, you know, these fit in the crane stock a lot better. This one is just like wasting space. It's also going to include the wall charger. Now, uh, this will work for the other battery. This will work for this battery. However, I would highly recommend getting a smart charger because if you, you know, kind of forget about this and leave this on too long, then it's going to like really ruin the battery. It's not that big a deal. These are only like $15, but still, you know, if it's the day before the game, you're kind of screwed. 
Anyways, so that's all it's going to come with, and I'm really happy with Eve Like They were so nice to me, and they took care of this gun. Like, they did a really awesome job. I'll show you their testing form that I'm going to include with the gun as well. And you can see this, a nice picture of this on the eBay listing, where they just went through and they tested everything. The only thing they weren't able to test, of course, was the battery, because I didn't send them the battery. Um, but I, I don't know, there was a battery in here, I guess they just didn't want to. And according to them, it's shooting between 350 and 370 feet per second. Again, if you want to see a better picture of this, check out the eBay listing in the description below. And if you want to see how pissed off I was when I initially opened this thing, when it was broken, then go ahead and check out the video link in the description, because that's when I first opened it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much Evike for, you know, being good sports about it and taking care of your customer. Like, you know, this they did a great job fixing it and I could not be happier with the service that I got from them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Spray and pray out.